Now this misses as well as he's behind the leadoff man this afternoon 2 and 0 now. Looked like that swing was in slow motion 2 and 1. Very nice afternoon high skies and 77 degrees at game time. The 2 2. Oh and it's not often you see a guy like that flail so badly up there but that was a great pitch for route number one. First pitch of the at bat. Grounded to first taken in by Votto and he'll take it on to the bag himself two gone now here in the first now at the plate Manny Machado as he'll get his first opportunity in this one here's the pitch liner toward right center and this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases this will kick up against the wall now and he will pull into second with a two out double. That is cool. The first baseman, Eric. First baseman Eric Hosmer is in. Now a swing and he pops him up. This is right out in front of the mound. And nothing will come of the two out double as the inning is over. Striding into the box, Nick Senzel. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The designated hitter. And the pitch. Sinzel. Too high, 1 0. Oh, 1 and 1 to the Reds' leadoff man. To 1 and 2 now. And that misses two and two. Now a swing and a fly ball. And Markakis won't get there. It's a foul ball. Didn't get on top of the sinker at all. If that's what it was trying to be, it stayed high. Boy, not what you want coming out of the gate as a pitcher, right? You don't want to have to show all of your pitches this early on in the game, but that's a quality at bat. And what does it make you do as a pitcher? You have to use a lot of your pitches, and the more pitches a hitter sees, the better chance they have to make good contact. Now in the box, Aristides Aquino. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Drops in a strike to start the at bat. Nothing in one. And a fastball way off target here, and it's even at one. That nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. Now here's the pitch. This is line to left. And this will be taken in out there just a few steps in front of the track, and there are two away now. So bases are empty here with two gone. And the right-handed hitting Nicholas Castellanos will bat next. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. The 1-0. Nope, That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. In there, two and one. A little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. Here now the two-two. 
And now this ball's lifted in the air down the right field line, but this will get back into the seats, so the count holds at two and two. And the cutter got him swinging. Strike three, and the side is retired. So striding forward now, Adam Duvall, as it'll be five, six, and seven due up to kick off the second inning. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0-1. Hey, if you're able to blow a first pitch fastball by a guy, got to believe that pitch is coming again right here. Looked like that one tied him up a bit, a swing and a miss. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. So one away here with the bases empty and standing in the powerful right fielder Nick Markakis. Just a tick behind for a strike. Looked like he was going to wait him out see if he was going to come over the heart of the plate. Well newsflash he is and this hitter is going to adjust his batting gloves and he better be ready in the box. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Stone cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. And another foul ball. Line drive to left. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. That is seven. The second base hit. Here's Jerickson Profar. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. Count 4 0. Sinker stays outside and is behind now 2 0. If you're going to have any chance against a good pitcher, you got to find yourself in some great counts. And he certainly worked himself into a nice 2 0 count right here. Sinker, and that's ruled strike two. There's a line drive base hit to left field. Batting it. The catcher. Standing in now, Francisco Mejia. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Fouled off. Working for the punch out and the offering. No score here as we play inning number two. And it's fouled away. Hey, have an A-B right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off. Maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Castellanos is over just a few steps to his right as he takes it for route number two. Coming to the plate now, Trent Grisham. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Good slider there, and he gets ahead of him nothing in one. And it's quickly 0-2. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and that'll bring in Eugenio Suarez. The third baseman, Eugenio Suarez. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. 
And this is high, a ball and a strike. Shot toward right center. But uh, this will not elude the right fielder's grasp as he ranges over to handle it for the first out. In now for the Reds, Mike Moustakis. First pitch coming, here it is. And he misses inside with that one, ball one. Even one and one count to Moustakis. Don't expect too many more high fastballs than this one. He is known for his sinker, keeping the ball on the ground. Looks like he swung it underwater that time for strike two. This hitter right now looks overmatched with a fastball. I think you go right back to it. Swing and Mustaka sends a drive to right. This ball's got some carry. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. Steps the former MVP Joey Votto. This he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. A one-one count to the Reds' first baseman. And now a pitch on the way. And now this ball's in the air to deep right field. Back goes Mark Hankis, still going back. That one's out of here. Back to back home runs. So now to the plate, Freddie Galvis. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Popped him up. There to play it is Profar, and there are two away. Striding in, Kirk to Sally. To try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Hit in the air down the right field line. And foul. Softly hit here to the left side. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Up next is Fernando Tatis Jr. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Hey, we're still in the early stages of this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Back up the middle. And it looks like he'll have extra bases here to begin the third. And a nice job to get the ball in quickly. He'll be held to a single here with nobody out. The back, At the plate now, Jake Cronenworth. And it's grounded just foul down the line. Steal! And there he goes toward second. In the air out toward right field. Irvin is there to put it away for route number one. And he is back safely at first, and that was almost trouble. So stepping in, Manny Machado, one for one, as he reached base with a double his first time up. And this is taken outside for ball one. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Going back is the left fielder. But he has no chance to make the play. It's off the wall. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. Now that, the first Eric. Eric Hosmer to the plate now. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Castellanos the catch. Tagging is the runner from third. And they're on the board as now it's a 2-1 ball game. The tag. Bottom of the third now, and digging in is the outfielder, Philip Irvin. First pitch coming, here it is. Starts him out with a cutter, and he gets him to swing through at one strike. 
And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Markek is giving chase. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Stepping up now, bat, Nick Senzel. 0 for 1 here Nancy in the early hitter. going. Nick Senzel. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. Senzel is a guy that has a lot of speed, no doubt about that. And while that's certainly a weapon for him offensively, it could be argued that it benefits him just as much on the defensive side of the ball given the position he plays. Ball. It's one and two. One ball, two strikes. Just inside, not by much. It's two and two. Here it comes. And he looks at a sinker for a called third strike, and now there are two gone. Into the box, Aristides Aquino hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that last AB. He hit that ball on the screws. High in the air down the right field line. And foul. Ready with the 1-1 pitch. Swing and a miss as he pulled the string on him. One and two. And he fouls this one off. Two out lightning definitely applies to this offense. If this two hole hitter can get on they could start something serious. This pitch is popped up. And Hosmer will just look this one in and the inning is. So digging in now Adam Duvall was a strikeout victim in his first try. Adam Duvall. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. He is in complete command out on the mound today. He's got all four corners locked in, and now he's raising eye levels to boot. Gets a small piece near the plate. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Down and away, it's a ball and two strikes. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Well, he kind of got caught chasing the first two pitches out of the strike zone. But I think he's caught on to their game a little bit right now. Two tough pitches that he took with two strikes. And now the count is two and two. Grounded straight into the shift on the left side. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Stepping up to the plate, Nick Markakis. He reached on a single in his first try. And this misses outside and a bit high. One ball, no strikes. Grounded to the right. A diving try, but it's through into the outfield. The batter number 10. Jerks and Profar digs in next. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. One for one after a single this first time up. Comes set and the 0 1. Now a swing as he foul tips it here and oh, right off his arm behind the plate. That hurts. Halfway to 100 pitches. Here it is. And he wastes a fastball high there, one and two. Hey, textbook waste pitch right there. Does he go elevated fastball again or something slow below the zone? And he got him. Now that the catcher. Francisco. First pitch of the at bat Francisco. on its way. Francisco Mejia will stand in for a second time here as he swings and misses there. It's nothing in one. Mm, fooled him with that one as he's way out in front. Man, that pitch had the look of a fastball. Straight changeup, and the bottom fell out of it. Count remains at 0-2. Well, somebody's sitting off speed right here. Only way he was laid on that heater is he was expecting another changeup. And he chased it in the dirt. 
And that ends the inning. Bottom of the inning now. And coming forward, the veteran outfielder, Nicholas Castellanos. No left fielder. Nick. A ball and no strikes. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. But that'll hit off the wall in left center. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. The third baseman, number seven, Eugenio. Into the box, Eugenio Suarez. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Look out, 2 0 now. Most good pitchers know that they have to work inside and sometimes even come off the plate to keep hitters from getting comfortable up there. I think that was part of the intent with that last pitch. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. Into the upper deck and gone. To the plate now, Mike Mustakis. As the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. Perhaps he can drive another one out of the park just like he did back in the second. Fouled away. Well, it's been a rough one so far. Four runs through three innings. It's about time to get that pitch count down or he won't be out here very long. Fouled off. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. This one is smashed down the right field line. That's going to stay fair and it's going to be back to back home run. And a step off. In is Joey Votto now. Bat explodes as this has popped up. And he'll steer clear of the flying debris to make the catch here for the first down. Digging in, no Freddie Galvis. Three. He flew Good out job. in his last at bat. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Line drive, and that's a base hit in the center field. Luis Perdomo answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. Into the box now, Kurt Casale as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1 and 0. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. A ball and a strike. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Five runs, six hits, and no errors in the game for Cincinnati thus far. Two balls and two strikes to the Reds catcher. Good luck with that pitch. That pitch is an absolute nightmare, almost unhittable. Nasty downward action, high 80s velocity. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. 3 2 pitch. He's got it. Galvis leads off first with one away. 
And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. That'll bring in Philip Irvin. Derek Dietrich will get the call to pinch hit here, and he'll find he has a couple of runners aboard with only one out in the inning. Low with the splitter, ball one. Now this is on the ground to first. We'll see if they can get two. To second for one. The relay on to first. The double play. And New inning set to get underway. And next will be a speed thread in the form of outfielder Trent Grisham. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. This is popped up. Votto waits on it. One down. Now so it's back to the top of the order now. And that will bring up Fernando Tatis Jr. Here comes the first pitch. Gray ready with the 0-1. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. What a nasty pitch right there. Batter thought it was going to hit him, and it ends up breaking into the zone for a strike. Oh, and there's a drive to deep left center. You can pretty much forget about this one. This is way out of here. Standing in now, Jake Cronenworth. Jake Swung on, and this one's driven in the air as well. To deep right field. Gone! Back-to-back -back jacks on back-to-back -back pitches. And in steps Manny Machado. Line hard to the left side. Foul. Machado now on 0-1. And boy, big problems here to start this at bat. It's 0-2 now. Man, this guy's been locked in all game long. I don't know where that ugly swing just came from. That misses 1-2. and two. Interesting sequence of pitches right there. A real ugly swing on a ball away, and it looks like the batter has a much better idea of what he's looking for after that second pitch. Two balls and two strikes now. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Aquino is there, two gone. Digging in now, Not Eric bad. Hosmer. He was a double play victim last time around. And he'll look at a fastball that doesn't miss by a whole lot. It's 1 0. Hey, they say solos won't kill us, but I got to believe this guy's looking to do exactly that. Lined hard down the line and right. And that is off the wall, but in foul territory. Foul ball. And this one runs a little too far in. Ball two. Hosmer in front now at three and one count. If I'm in the box right now, I'm coming unglued. He is going to throw something over the heart of the plate. Hit sharply on the ground. Mustakis has it. Throw on to Votto will take care of him at first, and the side is retired. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and next will be the speed threat. Nick Senzel. First pitch fastball in on the fists for ball one. And a strike to even the count. One and one. And the pitch misses low and away for two ball one. two. Nearly got the inside, but ruled the ball. 
And just when you needed a shutdown inning, a leadoff walk was certainly not on the agenda. He needs a bear down right here. Three and two now. Ready now with the payoff pitch. Now this is on the ground for Hosmer over there at first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Ready now for Cincinnati. Aristides Aquino. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Tucker Barnhart will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. High in the air down the right field line. And Marcakis won't get there. It's a foul ball. Left side, but well foul. Five runs, six hits, and no errors in the game for Cincinnati thus far. Tries the slider to ring him up, but he lays off one and two. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. Pulled high in the air out to right field. And that'll take care of the pinch hitter here for route number two. He'll get to this one deep in the hole. Ready for another chance? Nicholas Castellanos. And with an impressive contact attribute, he's a gold player who's a really tough out. And that misses low and away, ball one. High and deep down the left field line. And that's going to land foul. Two out, nobody on. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. Now the pitch. Drilled to the right side. A diving try, but he can't haul it in. It's through for a base hit. Up next to Cincinnati, the third baseman. In now, Eugenio Suarez. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. He's working on a one for two game so far. Hit down the third baseline. Machado is there. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Top half of the sixth about to get started, and that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Adam Duvall. Adam Duvall. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing. Now here's a fly ball. Well hit. And he's going to make the catch on the warning track. A fine running play there for the first out. So with one away now, now that'll bring in Nick Markakis. Nick Markakis. First pitch on its way. At the ball. Slapped hard the opposite way. And Marcakis has got himself a base hit. The batter number 10. Second base. Tyler Molly enters to make an appearance on the mound as he inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning. Now pitching for the red. Number 30. Tyler. Stepping in now. Jerickson Profar as he lines it hard to the right side but out of play. A hit in two tries for him so far. The 0 1 pitch. Boy, in a perfect spot for the splitter there. It's 0 and 2. In the dirt, but swung on and missed. 
Digging in to try it again. Francisco Mejia. He flew out his first time around and then was a strikeout victim most recently. From the belt, the pitch. The 0 2 delivery. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. The next 0-2. One ball, two strikes, count. A runner on first with two away. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Bottom of the sixth inning now. And up next, the former World Series hero, Mike Moustakis. This guy's having a pretty good week so far in one game. His last at bat is second home run of the game. We'll see if they'll pitch him a little bit more carefully in this A.B. First offering on its way. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0-1. anticipated here's a ground ball now to the right side and the throw to first is in time one gun stepping in and ready for another shot Joey Votto one for two in the ball game thus far there's a fastball well off the plate for a ball that's wide two and oh Three and oh now. And this one misses to Votto as he'll reach. It's ball four. Riding in once again, Freddie Galvis. A fly out and a single for him so far. He's set. Here it comes. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. I'll tell you, it's a helpless feeling for a manager or a pitching coach when your pitchers are having a really hard time throwing strikes. What are you supposed to do other than keep trying new guys until someone starts attacking the zone? Now the 2-0 home. In the dirt here. Runner holds as the count moves to 2-1. From the belt, the pitch That's ball three. looks at a fastball inside, so he's in the driver's seat, three and one. Can't keep that one fair, and now the count's full. Runner at first here, one man out. And he misses again, nope. ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base now on ball. Fielder. And that brings up Scott Shebler. He's getting his first plate appearance of the game here in the sixth. Drew Pomerantz takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are two on with only one away. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. With some traffic on the base pass, nice job by the pitcher to execute strike one. Has a look, now the pitch. Nope. Well, I'll tell you, he's not hitting over 300 by luck. He really knows the strike zone and his own strengths. That last take is a great example. Shevler even at two balls and two strikes. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Wow, this is a pretty good at bat right here from down in the count 0-2 to, to work the count back to 3-2. And, and he's seen a lot of pitches too. Scooped up, one there. On to first, and talk about doing the job out of the bullpen. One batter, two outs. 
seventh inning ready to roll. And at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Trent Grisham. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game. There's a swing and a drive, and everybody's just going to sit back and watch that one fly. A no-doubt home run. So now to the plate, Fernando Tatis Jr. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. So far, two for three in this one. Good deception on the slider there as he's way out in front. See, guys, he is human. Occasionally an ugly swing right there. But he's having a monster season, so I'm going to give him a free pass. Hit sharply on the ground. Oh, way to get dirty. He's up with it. The throw. Hey, now. At the plate, Jake Cronenworth. One run in and one gone so far this inning. Here comes the first pitch. And it's fouled away. The wind up and the 0 1. And he gets around on one and hits it high and deep to straightaway right. Dietrich is back to the track as he takes it for route number two. Here's Manny Machado now. He's roped a couple of doubles in three trips to this point. Oh, might not have been where he was hoping to put that pitch, but he somehow gets a swing on it anyway. Strike one. Lifted in the air out towards left center. In there, a base hit. And Eric Hosmer will have a chance next with two out. Now batter, the first base, Eric to the plate now Eric Hosmer as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Hey I know the tying runs at first right here but if the pitcher on the mound executes keeps the ball in play I think good things are going to happen. A ball and a strike to the Padres first baseman. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Two out with the man at first. And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called. In the end. Last half of the seventh here. And now Derek Dietrich strides into the batter's box. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Wow, that pitch wasn't even close, and he almost chased it. If I'm the pitcher, I'm going to expand the zone even more on the next one. And he fouls this one off. A 1-1. One, one. Is swung on and missed for strike number two. Inside and a hair low. It's two balls and two strikes. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. And he checked his swing, but it's a strike three called, and that's the first out of the inning. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Nick Senzel. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. First pitch fastball in there for a called strike. Big swing at the knuckle curve gets nothing but air. 0 oh 2 now. Sure took a healthy hack that time. Fouled away. One out, nobody on. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. Now that Ready now, Tucker Barnhart. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Got him to go up the ladder there for strike one. Fouled off. Bases are empty here with two men out. And it's fouled away. Another 0-2 home. And he struck him out. So a fine inning here as he strikes out this side in order. Standing in, Adam Duvall. He'll lead things off here in this one-run contest. This thing's far from over even though we're moving far. He gets dirty, but he can't make the play. It's a base hit. The battle, the right field, 
Nick. Here's Nick Markakis now, the right fielder, as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. As we near the end of this one, I think it's safe to say that the story of the game has undoubtedly been the long ball. Guys, what do you think about what we've witnessed? Well, as a former offensive player, I absolutely love it. Kudos to runner, both runner, runner. lineups for doing absolute damage today. One of the most fun watches of the year. You know, D-Row, what this shows me is this new age way of guys going up there, and they're swinging hard. You need to make good pitches, quality pitches, and if you don't have command of the fastball, you're in for a long day, and we saw that here this afternoon, a ball flying out at near record pace. Here now the 2-2 is put in play to the right side of the infield. No one out with a runner at second. Swing and a miss there by Marcakis, and he's down on strikes for the first out. So striding in, Jurickson Profar, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Lifted down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. And he lays off for ball one. One out and a runner on second base. Ah gets him to swing at a pitch down and out of the zone. One and two. This is going to be an interesting at bat. I think he has to be pitching for a strikeout here. Oh, hang on now. This ball is smoked to right, and I don't think this one's coming back. No chance. It's gone. Up next to the Padres, the catcher, Francisco Mejia. Into the box now, Francisco Mejia. As he lines it hard to the right side, but out of play. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right side. And he's safe at first as he beats this one out by about a half a step. Standing in now, Trent Grisham as he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0 and 1. He's working on a 1 for 3 thus far. He pulls this one into right, but he'll barely have to move out there in right as he hauls this one in for the second out. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And up steps the big bat of Fernando Tatis Jr. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. Swing and a miss, and he's in control. 0 and 2. Made him look silly with that one. Ball one as he lays off below the zone. Runner goes for second. Swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes. Digging in, Nicholas Castellanos. Two for three with a double on his line so far. Andres Munoz is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Here's a late swing and a miss. Strike two. We're going to see him throw that hard fastball early and often. Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's one and two. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. The 
the 2-2. Two -two. Wow, from 0-2 to 3-2 and in that last pitch on 2-2 two and two wasn't even close. He had this guy in the ropes, but now he let him right back into this at bat. Half swing here, but it won't matter. It's strike three called anyway, and that's out number one. The third baseman, number seven. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Eugenio Suarez. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Now the fastball is swung on and missed. Bases are empty, one man out. High in the air out to center field. Back goes Grisham. He gets there, and that's the second out. At the plate, Mike Mustakis. Two home runs already to his name in this one, and we'll see if he could possibly strike again. He's set, and the pitch. Two out, nobody on. And there's ball one. Munoz is a guy known for his lights out stuff. He tends to rack up strikeout numbers at a very high rate. However, he does at times get wild. Walks have come back to bite him on more than one occasion. You know, it's not uncommon, Matty V, for a relief pitcher to come in with really good stuff. And it seems like he's either really hit and miss. He'll rack up a lot of strikeouts, but if he's not quite on, he'll also rack up a lot of base on balls, and that can cause a pitching coach and a manager to really start to pull their hair out. Still even at two and two. Open stance by Mustakis, and now the pitch. Now he spins on one here and drives it to deep right field. That one is out of here. This game is tied. The first baseman, number 19. Joey. At the plate now, Joey Votto. Oh. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. And he fouls this one off. A pause. And the 0-2. Popped up. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. Hey, three foul balls in a row right here. Searching for that put away stuff. Here's the 0-2. Fouled away. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and two. I can't blame him one bit out on the mound. I'm shocked he didn't pick up the rosin bag and see if he could get a foul ball on that one. A swing and a miss. That retired. Next will be the designated hitter, Jake Cronenworth. He went deep back in the fifth. Jake. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Right fielder giving chase. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Digging in and looking for more. Manny Machado last time through was a base hit. Machado. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Splitter swung on and missed 0 1. Beautifully thrown splitter right there. High 80s down in the zone. Looks like a fastball coming and then boom, the bottom falls out of it. Terrific pitch. A ball and a strike now to Machado. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Now this is swung on, and here's another fly ball out to right field. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. And it'll be the cleanup spot for the Padres. Eric Hosmer, who could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Yeah, and this is the guy for me. I, I think this is the guy in the clubhouse that the guys truly gravitate towards. The total package of Eric Hosmer's game is really special. Into the corner and slicing foul. Yeah. 
lifted into center field. Schebler will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Ready once again, Freddie Galvis. He'll start things out here in a tie ball game. First pitch of the at bat. Unable to find the zone with the slider. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Three balls and a strike to the shortstop of the Reds. And that misses here, ball four. And of all things, it's a leadoff walk that puts the winning run on base to start the bottom half. Jose Castillo takes the ball here as he'll enter with a runner at first and nobody out. Jesse Winker will come on to pinch hit now with a runner at first and nobody out. Starts him out with the slider for a strike. The winning run is at first base. Hit hard back up the middle. And he is out on the tag. And that didn't work out too well as the pinch hitter comes on to bounce into a double play. So base is empty now after the double play. And next to bat will be the first baseman, Derek Dietrich. Now the slider gets the call in the bottom part of the zone. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. And that ball is gone! Santa Maria, game over! They say better late than never, and that's obviously something that he takes to heart as he puts a charge in one for a walk-off homer. Got to be the best feeling in all of baseball. see right there had a game to be proud of he really came through and it mattered and he's our top player of the game yeah really a game to remember for him and everyone that witnessed it he winds up belting three home runs so he pretty much took this game into his own hands and decided to have a home run derby out there